to see all my lessons, please check out my website flashbrainanatomy.com. But in this lesson, I will illustrate the horizontal slice of the brain. And in this lesson, I will illustrate the horizontal slice of the brain. And you can already see the cortex being illustrated. The cortex is has dark color because that is the place where mostly the neuron bodies are. So that's why it's called the gray matter. The other part, the white matter, is white because it contains the axons with the myelin sheet and the white molecules inside of myelin sheet give it a brighter color. You can probably notice this is the temporal lobe over here and this is the frontal lobe of the brain. The insula, the insular cortex is enclosed here and you can see it. If we pull down this temporal lobe we would be able to see the insula or we can lift up the frontal lobe. So here, right, this being illustrated right now is the thalamus. After thalamus, there is pallidum. The pallidum can be divided into medial one and the lateral one. So this is the lateral pallidum, the medial pallidum, and the thalamus. Then comes the putamen. And after the putamen comes the claustrum. More ventral, we can find the caudate nucleus. And of course here you can see the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle. As I said in the lessons about the lateral ventricle, you can find them on my website flashbrainanatomy.com. The caudate nucleus creates the lateral wall of the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle. To understand this a little bit better, go to my website and watch the lessons about the lateral ventricles. Then not to make not to confuse you with a lot of details, at the end I will just illustrate the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle over here. And the other part of the caudate nucleus. So the caudate nucleus goes like this. It goes more cranial, cranial and then goes again caudal. So it kind of like if we look at it from the lateral point of view, it goes like this. Okay, just like the uh, lateral ventricle, the lateral ventricle also has the same curvature. Okay, this is the lateral ventricle with its anterior horn, posterior horn, inferior horn, and the cella media. This part of white matter that divides the pallidum from the thalamus and the caudate nucleus is called the internal capsule. This over here is the external capsule and this over here is the extreme capsule. The anterior part of the internal capsule over here contains the frontopontine uh, fibers that project from the frontal cortex to pons. The then they contain the thalamocortical fibers. They are the part of the thalamocortical radiations and they connect the medial and the anterior nuclei of the thalamus with the frontal lobe. The genou contains the fibers, the cortical bulbar fibers which run between the cortex and the brainstem. The posterior part of the internal capsule contains the corticospinal fibers. It also contains the sensory fibers from the body. Uh, in these are included the medial lemniscus and the anterolateral system. It also contains the few corticobulbar fibers. Now, now I will write this all down. This was the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle. Then the lateral ventricle goes like this. This is the cranial, cranial, and then again caudal, caudal part. And we reach the posterior horn. And again, it also goes more caudal, which we cannot see because this is just a slice. And it creates the inferior horn. So this is the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle. 
Okay, this over here was the insula or the insular cortex. Then we had the temporal lobe and the frontal lobe over here. This was the claustrum and this white part was the extreme capsule. Then we had the putamen and now I will write more on the other side because I don't have space anymore. This was the pallidum. This over here was the lateral pallidum. And this over here was the medial pallidum. We had the caudate nucleus. Then on the back, this over here was also the caudate nucleus. And this was the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle, as I mentioned before. This was the thalamus. And this was the lesson about the horizontal slice of the brain. To check out more lessons, please check out my website and my software, flashbrainanatomy.com.